Hello everybody. I was recently working on a Sony XBR 65 X900C and the symptoms on the TV set are no standby light, no blinking lights, no power on light, completely dead set, uh, nothing happening at all. And if you want to open the back of the set, make sure you check out the video which I'll put up in the upper right hand corner here. Uh, once you get the back of the TV off, the first test you're going to want to do is to check and see whether you have 3.3 volts of standby. It says the standby voltage is on pin 5. Standby 3.3 volts on pin 5. Pin 5 happens to be right over here on this connector. This is a double row connector so pin 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, the odd numbers are at the bottom and pins 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 etc. are running across the top here. So it's very difficult to get the pin 5. Pin 5 also happens to be connected to this jumper wire right here. So there's a capacitor, three jumper wires. This jumper wire right here is tied to pin 5. So the easiest measurement you can do is to plug in your set, grab your voltmeter, put it on DC volts, put your negative terminal to one of the screw heads. There's one here, there's one over here, a couple different grounding spots where you can ground it to the chassis. But put your probe there, put your positive probe against that jumper wire, and with the set plugged in, you should be reading 3.3 volts. This connector should be plugged in, and this connector up here should also be plugged in. So with just the set plugged into the wall, everything connected at those two connectors, you should be reading 3.3 volts at that spot right here. If you don't, you have a bad power supply. You're never going to be able to do anything without 3.3 volts to turn on the power supply and allow you to proceed further in your troubleshooting. So that's just a quick and simple tip for you. I can tell you from personal experience, this power supply had exactly that problem. Set was completely dead. No sound, no picture, no backlights, no uh, LED on or standby indicator on. So completely dead set, replace the power supply, everything works just perfectly. So that's my quick and easy simple troubleshooting tip for you today for that XBR TV. If you found this video helpful or interesting or informative, how about a like, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.